Thank you very much for joining us for today's webinar, When Work Disappears, Planning the Post-COVID-19 Economy. The problems we've had with our economy, both nationally and locally, didn't happen over the last few years or the last couple of decades. In fact, we went through a period of deindustrialization in this country, and we certainly have seen it here in Florida. Understanding what manufacturing looks like today um, is the first step towards cultivating value for the trades again, while also demonstrating the skills and opportunities they give individuals and communities. This conversation is the conversation that we need to have. Where does the future take us? What are the jobs looking ahead that we need to aggressively pursue? And how do we do that in partnership with great institutions like FIU and the Metropolitan Center? We have to plan for a post-COVID economy, which means we're really talking about a major paradigm shift. A lot of these jobs may not come back. Manufacturing jobs have historically offered opportunities for workers without college degrees to gain technical skills and climb the economic ladder. I think this conversation showcases the way that government has to work together with academia and the private sector to get it done. Development has to become more industrial focused. We need to find room for industry to grow and prosper. And then we're going to have to create the local institutional support network and system to support that type of effort. A diversified economy is a more resilient economy. Ultimately, the goal of reindustrialization with the human face is to build human capital, make those investments in our workers, and grow a more sustainable and more resilient economy. Academic institutions, including technical and vocational schools, colleges, and universities, play a critical role because they directly connect workforce to industry through skills training. What we need is a robust interchange where students and faculty are on the ground with government, helping to map out the strategies and to implement them. Everything is based on production right now, and we need to be thinking equity, opportunity, and that's for all our population. There are opportunities for us to build an inclusive and more equitable economy by focusing our efforts on typically underserved and disadvantaged populations through the development of these programs. When we engage in increased infrastructure, which we'll hopefully do in partnership with the federal government, we need to make sure that we hire local because local hiring means that the money stays here. It's spent here, recirculating in our economy. The post-COVID economy is going to require a rethinking and a commitment at the local level. There's a lot we can do because we have the land, we have the zoning, we have the industries here, we have the institutions. It's time to invest in industry and begin thinking about how we do this. Collaborations and, and partnerships, that's how the most successful strategies come to fruition. People spending money that supports jobs so people can pay their bills and avoid evictions and homelessness and a small business shutdown. This is a difficult time, but it presents to us an opportunity to, to rethink the way we've been doing things and change it for the better. There's a lot to it, but let's get to work.